Much of President Xi Jinping's speech needs to be taken in the context of not just what's happening in Europe, but also what's happening on this side of the Atlantic. Thank you. Donald Trump, less than 24 hours away from becoming U.S. president, has said he would ditch certain multilateral agreements and protect American companies from foreign competition by introducing tariffs. That's really the framework for President Xi Jinping's comments in Davos. Knowing the world would be listening, it was his chance to state Beijing's case against protectionist policies, which he said are like, quote, locking oneself in a dark room. It is true that economic globalization has created new problems, but there is no justification to write it off altogether. We should adapt to and guide economic globalization, cushion its negative impact, and deliver its benefits to all countries and all nations. Xi Jinping also warned that no one would emerge a winner in a trade war, with the outgoing American vice president Joe Biden seated in the crowd. The two also met separately, with Xi echoing his concerns of a global leadership vacuum. Xi Jinping specifically called for a greater role for China in filling that vacuum. Some say he's already doing it. Incredible, uh, very dynamic, very forward-thinking, provides a good sense of stability. The world, what this world needs is a stable, visionary leader who can address some of the big problems. Welcome, Mr. President. Xi Jinping also met in Switzerland with the new UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and with the head of the UN General Assembly. The two UN officials said they applauded China's commitment to multiculturalism and China's role in areas like climate change and the fight against poverty. That meeting comes as some lawmakers here in the U.S. are threatening to defund the United Nations. Xi Jinping warned against such actions and says China wants, quote, a shared future for mankind where everyone benefits. Rui Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.